guys, Gabe here, that guy, Breadstick, and welcome back to another Minecraft series. So this series, what we're going to be able to do, guys, is we're coming back to Pixelmon for a third time. And um, this series will actually be long form because I actually have set down a task for myself in order to do this series. And that is we are going to complete the entire Pokedex because there are over a thousand Pokemon that are available and we're going to get it all done. Um, we're going to focus one region at a time and go from Kanto all the way to Paldea. And we're going to just have some fun with it and see what happens. Um, but for this series, um, I I'm maybe have a few people joining me in and out. But to start out, I have Decope. Sorry, Dylan. How's it going? Yep. What's up, everybody? I'm Lash, uh, also known as Dylan by my friends here IRL. I was with uh, Gabe a couple times in some previous videos, uh, including one that hasn't been released as of right now. I believe actually two that haven't been released right now, which is no problem. But I I am a fan of Pokemon. I'm a fan of Pixelmon. I'm here ready to go. Got the server all set up, and we are ready to start kind of going. Um, I'm going to be recording my side of a lot of these things because we probably won't be uh, at the same point all the time or being able to record at the same time. So I'm going to be recording my portion of it and uploading it over to my YouTube channel. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, we're just going to we're just going to go from there. I'm, I'm ready to get started. What about you? Yeah. So as as the person that might not be into as much Pokemon, why don't you pick first? OK, um, kind of give me a. Uh... I don't want to pick the same starter as you. Okay. So let me know like what you're gonna pick, and I'll pick based off of that. Okay. Um. So I, like I said, we're gonna start at one region and make our way down. So we're gonna start definitely in Kanto. I am either leaning Bulbasaur or Charmander, just because I either start with number one, or if I need someone to fly around, because flying in this is definitely a necessity. I agree with that. Um. And uh, I was gonna go Charmander. I mean, you but, you could go Charmander, and I could go Bulbasaur, so then I can get, like, a Pidgey, and then fly on a Pidgey out. I'm fine with that. Alright, I guess we can go with that. Alright, sounds good. So, right. pick Bulbasaur, and there we go. Begin my adventure. Alright, oh, Dude, and you're... my field of view is all sorts of messed up. Yeah, I need to make my Video field of view 90. Alright. All cooked. Frame rate V-Sync, hate that. GUI scale, brightness, booty. Dude, I, I love just how messed up everything is already yeah are you opt on the server uh maybe probably uh because i can't get this pokeball because i think it's spawn protective because you have op um yeah there we go <laughs> it was a full heal but yeah so Ooh. do we want to frame drops so i think well obviously with op because so guys this is um not going to be like a full-out survival series we're going to be able to actually like um have tp to be able to get back and forth even though we have waypoints i just tp so much easier um but do we want to do what was it called um i have a cat in my lap now <laughs> uh do we nice. do we want to make our houses close to each other or no uh that that's up to you i got no issue with it okay uh i just think it would be easier just in case like we need to travel but again like we have waypoints and tp so i just didn't know what you prefer i kind of like being able to like i think it'd be cool if we just for everyone else that if they hop on the server we kind of make like our own town slash village with all of our houses and shit and okay and then like maybe one day we could add like our own um marts where we can sell shit and like a pokemon arena like i think that'd be pretty cool yeah, that could be pretty dope. Yeah. I like how we spawn with a bed. Also, are, are these textures glitching out for you, or is it because I changed the setting? <laughs> uh, which ones? Uh, like flowers and bushes. I have a texture pack on, so they look fine to me. <laughs> Do we need to take a cut? <laughs> um, potentially, yeah. Okay, we'll be right back, everyone. And we are back. So, damn, you are, like, decked out over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, I, I saw in the settings uh, I could put on some robes and a hat, and I was like, that sounds cool. And, like, it, it'll it'll look even better when, uh, when you know, we're able to... We, when we're able to mega evolve. Yeah. It's really cool. Bro, I'm kind of upset right now because my sash... Oh, okay, it is working. It is pulsing yeah, different colors. Rainbow. Yeah, okay. It did not look rainbow on my screen for a second. But um, we can raid this village. I've already done a little bit, but there's not much. Here are two Pokeballs, because I only have two. Um, yeah. So, 
like I said, my, the goal is to finish this Pokedex, but the issue with that right now is that the next Pokemon up on the list is Charmander, and he's a pretty rare spawn, guys. So I think my plan is, is that I'm just gonna not try to necessarily complete it in number order, but at least in region order. And where the fuck uh, did you go? So a question, do you want to cheese it a little bit? As in how? As in we trade Pokemon to each other and then trade them back? We could, yeah. Because that would make it significantly easier. Yeah, I mean, if we want to work out this together, I'm down. I didn't know if you were just going to do your own thing and, like, I was going to do it, or if you were going to work out it towards with me. Well, I don't think my goal is going to be completing the Pokedex, but what I can definitely do is help you do it. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so I guess we should probably trade right now before you evolve Charmander into Charmeleon, right? Uh, yeah, that would probably be for the best. Okay, let's um, go. But I'm looting right now. Okay. Um, but right after I'm done looting and just robbing this one villager of all of, his, all, all of their belongings. Then... Do we want to do difficulty peaceful just so we don't have to eat food? I mean, there is food around the place, but do we not? Do we want to? Doesn't make difficulty it? peaceful cause an issue where some Pokemon won't spawn? I honestly don't know. I've never. I feel like that seen... used to be an issue. Do it wanna, might. Do you want to do some research real quick while I'm while I'm looting and? Yeah, I can. Do some, do some quick research. The, the bat, Batman transition sound of it. Da -da 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 -da. I mean, mobs don't spawn regardless, but it's just, it's like, even if peaceful is, even if it's not on peaceful, but it's just like for the sake of, oh, do we want to actually like... Have to get food and all that? Yeah. yeah. I get what you're saying. I, I just remember in like another version of Pixelmon, there was an issue where if you had peaceful mode on, like uh, certain nighttime ones were marked as like hostile and they wouldn't spawn. Yeah, I've never had that issue, so I could not tell you. I don't know, maybe I'm just delusional. But all right, do you want to trade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, over here at the Pokemon Center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta be careful because uh, I don't. I'm, I'm pretty sure you need Silk Touch in order to pick up these things. Oh, you cannot. I know for a fact you can't pick up the tr the um. What is it called? The um healers. But you can pick up the PC and the trading machine without Silk Touch. You just need an Iron Pickaxe. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I know that the uh, I know that the healer you need some touch. So okay, fair enough. Because I know if you break it without it, it just gives you a diamond or something like that. <laughs> I also just tried something that I didn't think would work. I types I gotta I, I got I gotta deon myself. Yeah, that I I do I that is one. Well, actually, you know I would do that, but like the, we spawn in a village that's spawn protected. Is yeah. The issue. Um, but no, I think. Um, I think we should at least try to keep it somewhat legit and not, um, <laughs> and oh, not no, use... Oh, I, I totally agree. Okay, cool. Because I, cause I know it's, like, easier to not do that, but at the same time, it's just, like... It, it defeats the purpose. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I guess I could throw away this chicken, potato, bread, apple, beef. Perfect. We're already we're already on a great start. Just got another. Uh, oh, huh? You got a quick ball. Yeah, uh, I have a few pokeballs if you want some extras. Oh, don't worry. I got I got some pokeballs. Okay, cool. Um, I just I just caught a Rotata, which is gonna help me to my cuz. Not gonna be on the team, but. Oh, also, um, if you there is like the whole thing where it says um. Where it says the chosen one, whenever you throw them out, you can take that off. You just have to go to your summary and your Pokemon. Okay, so for a Meowth, I found a Galarian Meowth. Do you think I should... Do you think... Okay, I'm going to actually try and see if this works. Because I wonder if it counts for Meowth. Because it's a it Cantonian... Doesn't. It doesn't? So a Galarian Meowth does not count as in, a regular Meowth. In the Pokedex, though? In the Pokedex, they're two different ones. In my, uh, I know in the game they're two different ones. I don't know about here. Okay, because I was just thinking, would it save time to catch a Galarian Meowth if it registers in the Pokedex as just a regular Meowth? If that makes sense. Yeah, no, no, no it makes sense. I'm just, uh, just trying to remember what. Here, I'll catch it, and if it does, and if it doesn't register, then I'll just trash it. Or you could take it. I don't really care. I don't really want it, it's fine.
Wait, this is not Galarian. This is a Lolan. What am I doing? Why am I so trash at this? Uh, let's see. Uh, all right. Oh no, it does count as it just does, it does count as me out. Okay, so we're chilling. Oh, so maybe it does. Okay, that's cool. Which I think that's completely fair because it's still a Meowth. Yeah. And it's not the one that evolves to Persker, Persker or whatever. How the fuck you say it? it's the one that evolves to Persian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I will say the one thing that I do love about it, like compared to other games, is like I hate grinding in other games, but in Pixelmon, I love grinding for some reason. Oh no 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 same, absolutely. It's the it's the goat. I'm already off to a great start. I have four Kanto Pokemon right now. Yeah, I'm just focusing on uh, getting some supplies and uh, leveling my Charmander. That's smart. Oh, that's a Flapple raid. Interesting. I don't have yeah, any Pokemon raid. that I would. I did. I did not know there were raids in this one. Yeah, there are raids in this. I don't know what Gen Nine things there are, so I don't know if there's terraforming. But yeah, there are raids in this. And they trade. They change the apple or the apricorn trees into like an actual tree that will give you more than one apricorn, which is very nice. Oh yeah. Hold on. Here's a black apricorn tree. Give. I'm in an extreme hill, so I would love to find a Charmander. Because that would make my life easier. You, but you don't need one. You just traded me for one. No, yeah, for the e evolution in case I do want a Charizard. But, oh, yeah, that's fair. But I'm also that type of person where I don't like using basic Pokemon. And by basic Pokemon, I mean Pokemon that everybody literally uses. <laughs> that's fair. Like, I'm replaying Pokemon Let's Go right now, and I try to find a way to make Parasec work on my team. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I I ultimately can't end it because Parasect is complete ass. <laughs> yeah, Parasect is not that good, but and it's like four times weak to like rock, fire, not rock, fire, flying, and like ice, <laughs> which are th which two of them are prevalent types in the Kanto region. <laughs> yeah, that's valid. Ooh, what'd you get? Uh, I caught you a Pidgey. Oh, appreciate it. Is that copper or bauxite? Um, that's a great question. I wish I could see it. I think it's bauxite because it's not textured, but this texture pack's also really old. Is it gray or is it brown? It's like a grayish brown. <laughs> it's probably bauxite. It's yeah. I'm thinking it is also bauxite. Also known as bohite. What the fuck? I've never heard of that. Uh, when of, of the first time I ever read Bauxite, I was like, "What the how, what the fuck is that?" And then I read it as Bohite, like. Oh, uh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, so, so don't don't just don't question it. You also, um, I think it would kind of be cool. So like, if we did challenge based stuff, this like this is an idea that I got from a diff from a Sunday plate that he did. So what they have did? A gym, a gym. Well, not even, no, it's not a gym, so what they'll do is, like, that was at the time when Pokemon Go came out, so they had the three different teams and had one person e re represent each team. Um, so, like, Team Valor, Team Mystic, Team Instinct, but no, so there's set armor sets that you can get for the evil teams from Pokemon, so, like, Team Rocket, Team Magma, Team Aqua. I think it'd be cool to do that. And, like, when we do challenges, if we, if, like, let's say whoever was Team Neoplasma 1, their gym, the gym would change colors to, like, their set color for their armor type. And then it represents that until the next person wins the challenge. If that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, no, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. I've okay. That hard. Um, I'm, I'm already claiming Team Magma because I like Team Magma's costumes. <laughs> Fuck! Um, I was gonna claim Team Magma because I was a part of a I was a part of a Team Magma whole fucking like thing on uh on Pokefind. Uh yeah. Uh like the, you know it was like an underground like clan like Team Magma. We actually got shut down by the owner of Pokefind. That's funny. I was gonna claim Team Magma, but if you want it, I mean it's your your thing. It's up to you. Yeah, I I, I love the hood. I think they have the best costumes. One hundred percent. Yeah. Oh uh, God. What other? Which? What so there's other Team ones Rocket. There? So there's. Um, from what I know. I don't want to be Rocket. I don't want to be blasting off again. That shit's stupid. No. Yeah. So there's Rocket, Aqua, 
galactic plasma and neoplasma i'm pretty sure those are the only i know there's more evil teams but i don't think they made armor sets for each of them gotcha i don't know we'll figure it out yeah i just yeah. wanted to claim that one off the board <laughs> yeah i can understand that fuck you though i know <laughs> all right i think i also need like one diamond probably but I think I'll probably grab more just for upsetting. Why is that diglet pink? What do you mean? It's pink. It's pink. Pink diglet. Could be the... It's, uh, it's not a shiny. I know that for a fact. Because the I shiny... A, I know it's not a shiny. Uh, catch it. See what happens. Quick ball it. I ran out of quick ball, so I'm just going to throw an ultra ball at it. This is cold. Don't break free my, from my Pokeball. Could be a Valentine. It could Valentine's be, because I think I've seen a pink Weedle before, and I think it had the same effect. Does that have particle effects? No, 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 no. It's just, they just it's protect just it pink. Yeah, it's just pink. Because <laughs> I know Diglett, it's shiny, it's like, it's a little bit of a lighter brown and has a blue nose instead of a red nose. Yeah, it's just, it's a clown. It's a, the, no, the I actually, shiny Diglett is a clown. I, I that's clown. that's like one of the only shinies that I actually like when they change like one aspect of it and nothing else. Like other ones I hate, but I don't know. Dig, shiny Diglett to me is just funny, and it's like a good funny. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it's just pretty in pink, so it's just I guess a pink form Pokemon that they just decided to add. Which I'm like, okay, you do you, but like, why? Yeah, it's, I don't really know. What in the developer's mind went, okay, let's just add random pink Pokemon that do no purpose but decides to just be pink. Um, for funsies, of course. Yeah, yeah fair. I mean, what else? Let's be honest here, buddy. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, like, I think this is more fun, like, grinding-wise, compared to, like, a Minecraft... Where the uh, fuck is it? I can't catch it, but where the fuck is it? Attempting to find. Are you in a seasonal taiga hills? It's, it will say it underneath your... It says taiga. Is there a seasonal taiga hill? Wait, hold on. I'm no, in I see, I'm I in see. a seasonal taiga hills, but I, I don't see, see the light for the hills. den. For the raid den. I don't see a light. It's not. It's not a raid den. Yeah, it is. It said. No, 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 no. It says a Meltan has spawned. Has in appeared a in a in a den in a seasonal cycle hill spawn. In a den. Oh, okay. Sure. So they yeah. So like the raid den, it'll spawn in there, and you have to fight it, and then you can capture it that way. It's not wildly spawned, but I don't see the light. And usually they it's if they spawn, it's within sixty blocks in either direction from you. So I would have seen it by now. If it is. It is. I don't see one either. I mean, I, mean, I can't catch oh, it. I'm in a seasonal birch now. Oh, okay. So you probably. I mean, it, it could be. It could have been either or of us. But, yeah. I mean, I couldn't catch it regardless. So. Yeah, I'm not seeing a den anywhere. Yeah. Um, uh, well, you would see wait. the big red beaming light in the sky if it was near you. Oh, then yeah, no, it, it was not near me. But I did find a Bulbasaur. Nice. Yeah, Bulbasaur is definitely one of the easier starters to find. Bro. I just need to catch this. Come on, please. Oh, this timber just ran at me. All right. We'll see if I can take this motherfucker out.
go. Let's capture this now. How many Pokemon do you have by any chance? Uh, five. Okay, it's seven, I think. Oh, I found my own Pidgey. That's actually good. I need a Pidgey because I need to be able to fly since you have Charmander. Ooh, Caterpie, I actually do need that. Honestly, I might turn off the snow because this shit's actually kind of annoying. Nah, I can deal with it. As soon as I do that, it then opens it up to what else can I just command in? So I figured out that you can actually shear the milk tank, or not, no, not shear, milk the milk tank. So I wonder if you could shear Mareep. Yeah, you can. Okay, I didn't know if you could shear Mareep. I just know you can milk a milk tank. Yeah, uh, I just found a statue of what appears to be a giant bird or dragon. I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere, so I'm just gonna TP to you, because I'm curious. Oh, it's not even, like, a chiseled statue where you could tell what it is. <laughs> it's yeah. just the statue. I said what appears to be a statue. Oh, okay. I guess, yeah. Oh, yeah, because this is definitely probably a gym in here. Because I just walked in, and I just got put into a battle that was... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Garchomp. <laughs> and I definitely did not want to fight that. Yeah, you... Yeah, that's a gym. Hey, there's a level one trainer here. Just easy XP, maybe? Maybe. Depending on what the Pokemon is. It's a Rattata level two. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're fine. I And I got money for it, Pog. Ooh, Charmander! I don't have any Pokeballs. Fuck! Uh, I do. Well, I can't leave or else this is gonna be spot. Yeah. Um, here. Quick ball. Appreciate it. And this will make my life so much easier. If I catch this. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Didn't work? Nah, it's fine. I have more. Oh, okay. I just figured you get it in single tray. Uh, here, take like 15 great balls. Appreciate it. Are you stacked on balls right now? Yeah. Damn. Maybe I just have not been paying attention to what I need to be paying attention to. I think I have to run and then fight it again because the Pokeballs are not showing up in my bag right now. Yeah, you have to run and fight it again. Which is fine as long as it's as long as I have eyes on it. Yeah, it's right here. Bro, it won't let me escape, and it keeps dragon breathing me. Uh, one, once, okay, there we go. if it, if it's like you can't escape, you can probably just like wait till your Pokemon dies and then have to switch and then should be fine. Yeah, but even when I was doing that, I said could not escape. <laughs> so it's like double fucking me. Oh yeah, no, that'll do it. Pink Weedle! Yeah, I guess they just made Pokemon pink just because, cause Weedle, Weedle's shiny is green. Yeah, that's kind of goofy. What sucks is that, like, the Pokeball is getting thrown down, but the Charmander is still out. So it's just giving me false hope. Yeah, that's tough, buddy.
God, it's like, are, are planes just non-existent? Like, bro. We could do slash locate biome. I know that would be cheating, but it would just make things so much easier. <laughs> it would be cheating, so... I'm gonna go with let's let, let, let's let's try and minimize cheating. Okay. Let's put it in at like a you know let's put it in an, like an honest bit of effort before resorting to locating. No, yeah, 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 I can check it. Would like to find a Pokemon uh, Pokemon Center soon though, because I'm out of Dragon Breath. I think peaceful was a good idea, just so we don't have to eat. Yeah. Hey, I found a breeding center. Nice. Yeah, this Tremor and this capture rate must be high, because it's not. Oh, wait, no, this looks like a church. Oh, it's got an enchanting table. That's an easy scoop. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the Charmander did not want to be my friend today. Tough scene, buddy. Tough scene. For real, Doc. It's fine. I could just always trade After with you. After 15 balls? Yeah. I think its capture rate is actually really, really low. But I think I'm going to end it there from my point of view. So I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Once you do join that Brett's Italian, make sure you check out my other channels in the description below. Make sure you check out my Twitch, my Discord, and my other social media. Make sure you check out Dylan in the description below as well. As we add more people into the series, I'll add all of their descriptions and the I'll add all their channels in the description below. But besides that, I got nothing else. I will see y'all next time. Peace out.